you exactly why, despite the fact that you might want to be with a rich man, you're actually not cut out for it. I went to lunch the other day with one of my friends who's getting married to a very wealthy guy, and she was talking about how unhappy she is in her relationship. And the primary reason is because this man works all the time, and her love language is quality time. Mind you, sis is sitting there doused in Chanel and Louis Vuitton that he bought for her. And I told her, I was like, if this is the lifestyle that you want, the Chanel, the nice house, the maids, the cars, the luxury items, then somebody has to go work for it. And you gotta ask yourself, do I want a man who's sitting next to me, giving me quality time home by 5 p.m doesn't travel you know just like up my ass the entire time or if i want a man who's making money and if he's making money he just naturally is not gonna have time for you like that now no way am i saying find someone who neglects you but there's just natural things that come with this lifestyle that i had to learn myself and i'd be lying to you if i told you it isn't a lonely life I could tell she's telling the truth because she got a nose job and then if she has the money to get a nose job and she's she's probably around other bougie behind women who do that too. So she probably has been with rich men as well. The only thing I want to say is, dang, she still ain't satisfied. It's, it seems like, and I ain't trying to offend no women, but it seems like y'all always complain about something. You finally got your high value man <laughs> and now you complain he ain't spending time with you. I mean, but if he, if he wasn't making that much money, you'd be mad he ain't making much money. When I go outside, I'm no longer wearing my hair curly. Like I will be wearing slick back, cute hairstyles because I don't want a guy to like me because my hair is curly. Huh? I'm Ooh. saying I feel like certain things should not be intertwined until y'all get to a certain point. Like I, yeah, you can Fam, live with your boyfriend. It. You can live with your boyfriend, but I'm not buying no house with my boyfriend. I'm not doing that. We can break up today tomorrow. Like what the fuck? That's cool. Yeah. Now think about now. Say we together, we got a crib, and both our names is on the lease, and that's different. Then say we engaged. Now we may be going through the buying the house process. Now we married. Now maybe we might finally lock it in. I'm not. I'm not setting up no things that's long term in my life and his. If we're not on a certain level, we're not at a certain understanding. No, we're not. You are so a boyfriend. So you are a question. girlfriend. So here's we just need to take their time and understand how to date. That's what I'm saying. I'm not about to buy no house with a boyfriend. That I've been with for a year. That's trolling. That's a liability. I mean, you're doing everything else with him. Why stop there? Now, I get what she's saying. What's the point of getting a, a house with a boyfriend? But what's the point? For me, from my Christian perspective, what's the point of even being intimate with him if he's not your husband? If you're giving your body to him, what is more of a commitment than actually giving your whole entire body to somebody? You say in the house, you're giving your body to him. But that's just my, you know, Christian perspective in this modern world. You know what I'm saying? I just I just think that how do you do one without the other? How do you literally do the very married thing and then you don't want to do the other married thing? You, you do the married thing intimately, you want the house married thing. 